Good morning. Uh, my name is Nick Gratwick. I am responsible for Epsom Derby Hospitality. Um, I'm joined today from the wonderful surroundings of the kitchen in Le Gavroche by Michelle Rue Jr. Hi, Hi Nick. Great to have you in my little kitchen. Um, Thank you very much. Yeah, as you can see, it's, uh, there's not a lot of people in here. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> and normally you wouldn't be this side and no. you would be that side. <laughs> I love being this side. So that's great. That's great. And we're closer to the food. So tell us, what, what are you doing for us today? Yeah, so this is a, you know, a great kind of summary dish. Uh, ceviche, or I hope I've pronounced it correctly, of uh, scallops. So beautiful, mm. fresh scallops, diver caught. And um, we've got here a vinaigrette or a dressing. Uh, so in the dressing, we've got rapeseed oil, a uh, great British product as well. We've got garlic, chili, ginger, reduced orange juice, um, mint, fresh mint. Um, what have I forgotten? A little bit of acidity in there as well. Oh, and some uh, sherry vinegar. Right. Uh, so what we do is we, we just warm this through and uh, steep all those ingredients in that dressing for about 24 hours and then pass it and you have got this most wonderful fragrant. Mm. It smells good, doesn't it? I can it? smell it from here. It yeah, really absolutely. does smell good. Yeah, I'll put that there. Lovely, wonderful, fragrant dressing. And that then goes on to our scallops. I mean, you could use any white fish. Um, in fact, any fish, I think. Even mackerel would work well with this. Right. So if you want to make it at home, a bit of mackerel. God, that really does smell good. It smells lovely, doesn't it? And th this is a dish that you're preparing to have um, served at Epsom, should it have gone ahead at the Derby <laughs> this year. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, well, you, you might get a little taste of this one. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's such a shame, isn't it? it? Is. But you know what? You know, we, we're going to be back. Uh, back better and stronger and we're really looking forward to the next time we can we can serve our our food there yeah absolutely tell me a little bit about the space that, that you serve in um, oh yeah yeah at, at epsom it it is an incredible space because um it's actually quite intimate there's no more than about you know 180 200 people right. so it's quite a small venue um when i say small i don't mean that you're compact but yeah. but you know it, it's it's really personal um, and I'm there every day normally, and my, my daughter is as well, and my dad is. And we get to meet and greet everybody uh, several times, go to every table. Uh, and, uh, and of course, it's not only is it a great venue, um, there's great food, mm. great wines. Um, it's just a, a wonderful event. And the location's not bad for seeing the winners oh, as well. God, the location. Yeah. <laughs> the location's, you're on the, you're on the line, on the winning line. Yeah. Uh, and of course, you've got dual aspects, haven't you? Yes, got, that's yeah. true. Yeah. yeah, over the parade ring and then over yeah. the winning line as well. Yeah. But what I'm amazed at as well is the quality of the food, not, not obviously because you're, you're cooking it, but the quality <laughs> of the food that comes out of such a small kitchen. Um, it's oh, yes. quite, a, quite a thing. It's, it's exceptional, really. The kitchen is tight. Yeah. That is for sure. Um, but it, it's, you know, we've proved in the past it's workable. Yes. And, the, 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 you know, and, and that's down to the menu. So dishes like this, um, so the, um, you know, the scallops, it's a cold dish. So a lot of the preparation for this dish can be done in advance. Right. And then it's just a question of plating up, which I'm just about to do. Now, the scallops, mm. normally we would leave them um, for about an hour and, the, um, and they pickle in this lovely dressing. And uh, they sort of firm up and they get this wonderful flavour. Now, underneath the scallops, I've got a puree of squash that's been flavoured again with some herbs, so flavoured with a, a bit of touch of cumin. Mm. That does look really nice, doesn't it? So this is the kind of dish you would want on a summer's day as well. Absolutely. Bag, bags and bags of flavour. And I've got a little bit of pickled Granny Smith apple. Nice. So the Granny Smith apple... It's lovely and fresh and zingy. It's got a little bite to it as well. So it's there for texture too. Yeah. There we go. So how many scallops have you got in the dish? Is that two scallops that you've literally cut exceptionally fine? That three? was about, two, no, yeah, two, two. about one and a half, two scallops, yeah. depending yeah. on the size of the scallop. Sure. Um, and then we have got some herbs here. We've got some beautiful fennel fronds. I mean, they are gorgeous, aren't they? Lovely. That just brings everything to life, doesn't it? That little touch of colour just brings yeah. it really to life. Lovely. Oh, just there. And then yeah. some more little micro herbs here. So pack a punch. Yeah. We didn't use coriander because Dad hates coriander. <laughs> Fair enough. You know, if I really want to, if, if he's annoying me, if Dad's yeah. annoying me, and I want to get my own back on him, 
Yes, I put a bit of coriander <laughs> on his food. That really does. Now that, yeah, <laughs> immediately I get my own back on him. And um, then we just put a little bit more of this dressing. Like so. Last minute, a bit more of the dressing. Because this is really so lovely. Wow. And then finish off with some caviar. Of course. Three little dots of caviar. One. Two. So what was the atmosphere like in, in the restaurant? The atmosphere is always buzzing. Yeah. Always buzzing. There's always something. Mm. People are cheering. It's families as well. There are a yes. lot, a lot of families, a lot of people yeah. that come as friends as well. Um, and so much repeat customers. Right. It's unbelievable. Yes, year yeah. in, year out, the same people and they ask for the same table, <laughs> uh, which, which is great. Why it do makes, you think that is? is? Because it's so special. Right. Because it right. is such a great occasion. The people put it in their diary and that's that. that that's Absolutely. their thing. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, and I forgot the cheese board as well. The of massive course. cheese board. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes when you introduce, because you come into the restaurant and introduce uh, yourself and also the, the cheese you've got in there, I think the stampede almost <laughs> that cheese board. I don't think you're going to come out alive. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's quite a spectacle, isn't it? It is. It is. And, um, and you know, hopefully we'll, we will be able to, to replicate that again next year, the, the cheese board, because it's, uh, I think it's a focal point and it's something that everybody appreciates that's to to go up to the cheese board and literally just take a big spoon of the gorgonzola and help oh, yourself it's yes yeah. yeah pretty special pretty special as is that dish that looks absolutely delightful so which wine are we pairing with this mm. dish so wine for this we've gone english again okay um and i think uh, the uh, three choirs which come downs which i don't actually know right this is from gloucestershire so three choirs brought from gloucestershire so uh yeah, it's a, it's a microclimate uh, in that area. It's a 40 acre plot. Um, and let, let, let's see what we think. Mm. We're hopefully going to get some peachy notes, some um, elderflower notes. Um, but let's see. Cheers. 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 Oh, wow. Yes. Yeah, it really is. Very elderflower. Mmm. Summer. Definitely. Absolutely. Summer in a glass. That's wonderful. Yeah. Crisp. Beautiful. Michelle, thank you. Thank you.